Hello everyone. We would like to express our heartfelt gratitude for the tremendous support you've shown to our channel. Your support is truly valued. As you prepare for your citizenship interview, it's important to be aware that during the interview, the officer will inquire about the yes and no questions outlined in Part 12 of Form N-400. While some officers may ask a random selection of these questions, others might cover nearly all of them. Additionally, there's a possibility that the officer might include vocabulary definitions to assess your English comprehension skills. It's worth noting that I've observed instances where applicants struggled during the interview solely because they couldn't provide explanations for certain vocabulary words. This segment holds considerable significance and necessitates thorough preparation and learning in order to successfully navigate your interview. Fortunately, this video contains all the essential information you need. Prior to your interview, make certain you comprehend and recall the definitions of each word outlined in the video. By dedicating time to watch and absorb the content, I am confident that you'll be well prepared to ace your N-400 interview. To enhance your readiness, pay close attention to the highlighted keywords in each question. Your commitment to understanding these nuances will undoubtedly contribute to your success. Let's commence with question number one. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No. Please explain what claim is. To say something is true. What does it mean to claim to be a U.S. citizen? To state you are a U.S. citizen. Have you ever been a member of involved in, or in any way associated with, any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? No. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. What does admission into the United States mean? The right to enter the United States. What does it mean to lie? To say something that is not true. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. What does misrepresentation mean? To lie or give wrong information. What does public benefit mean? Welfare like food stamps. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party? No. What is a Communist Party? No freedom like China, North Korea. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with a terrorist organization? No. What is a terrorist organization? An organization that uses violence against people. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return 
since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. What does non-U.S. resident mean? Not a U.S. resident. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with any totalitarian party? No. Please define totalitarian party. Government controls everything and people have no power. Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945 did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? No. What does Nazi mean? The party under Hitler. Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. What is a hereditary title? A royal title such as prince or princess. What is an order of nobility? Like king or queen. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. What is pay alimony? To pay money to ex-spouse after a divorce. What is a dependent? Someone who relies on another person. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. Do you understand what gamble means? To play a game for money. Have you ever persecuted either directly or indirectly any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? No. Please define persecute. To hurt someone badly. What is national origin? Where a person is from. What does religion mean? A belief in God. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Please define register. To sign up. What does vote mean? To elect new leaders. Have you ever advocated either directly or indirectly the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. What does it mean to advocate? To support. 
What is overthrow of a government? To remove a government from power. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. What is obtain? To get something. What does immigration benefit mean? Things like a visa green card or citizenship. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. What is overdue? Past a deadline. Please define O. To have a debt. What does O taxes mean? To owe the government money. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier? Or did you otherwise ever serve in any other place where people were forced to stay? No. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier? Or did you otherwise ever serve in labor camp? No. Can you define labor camp? A place to force people to work. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. What is legally incompetent? Having mental problems. Please define declared. To be told something publicly. What does mental institution mean? Hospital for people with mental problems. Please explain what confined means. To be kept in a place. Did you ever receive any type of military? paramilitary, or weapons training? No. What does weapons training mean? To learn how to use a gun. Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group? unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person, or threatened to do so? No. What is threatened? To warn to hurt someone. What does weapon mean? Like a knife or gun. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. What does it mean to file a tax return? to send tax paperwork to the government. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No.
Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. What does fraudulent mean? To claim something that is not true. Do you know what false means? Not true. Can you define misleading? To give a wrong idea. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in a military unit? No. What is a military unit? A group that works for government. What does it mean to participate? To be part of. Have you ever deserted from the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Can you define deserted? To abandon. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What does drafted mean? Being selected as a soldier. What is avoid being drafted? To prevent being selected as a soldier. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. What does deport mean? To force a person to leave a country. Do you understand what exclude is? To prevent from entering the United States. Were you ever a worker? Volunteer or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in prison or jail? No. What does prison or jail mean? A place where prisoners are kept. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Have you ever been court-martialed, administratively separated, or disciplined, or have you received an other than honorable discharge while in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Do you know what discipline means? To be punished for doing something wrong. What does court-martial mean? To go to military court. What is discharge? A soldier leaves the military. Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? No.
Can you define recruit? To ask. Do you understand what conscript means? To require someone to join the army. What is enlist? To sign up in the armed forces. Have you ever applied for any kind of exemption for military service in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What is an exemption? Special permission not to do something. Are you currently a member of the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person, or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. Were you ever involved in forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? No. Please define forcing sexual contact or relations. To touch someone's body when they don't want it. Have you ever been discharged from training or service in the U.S. Armed Forces because you were an alien? No. What does alien mean? Not a U.S. citizen. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Can you define U.S. Armed Forces? U.S. Military, Navy, Air Force. Did you ever register for the Selective Service? No. What is selective service? Services in armed forces under law. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in prison camp? No. What is a prison camp? A place to keep enemy soldiers. Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? No. Have you ever been placed in removal? exclusion, recession, or deportation proceedings? No. What are deportation proceedings? Process of removing a person. What does rescission mean? To take back a decision. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. Please define prostitute. 
Someone who has sex for money. What is procure? To find someone for sex. Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve and help or otherwise participate in a police unit? No. What does police unit mean? A group that protects community. Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings including administratively closed proceedings currently pending against you? No. Please define pending. Waiting to happen. Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? No. What is combat? To fight in war. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve and help or otherwise participate in rebel group? No. Please explain what rebel group is. A group fights a government. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Do you understand what oath of allegiance means? A promise to be loyal to the United States. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances? illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. What is illegal drugs or narcotics? Like heroin or cocaine. What is smuggle? To take things to a country illegally. Can you define controlled substances? You can buy it with a prescription but with restrictions. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve and help or otherwise participate in vigilante unit? No. What does vigilante unit mean? A group acts like the police, but are not the police. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or rehabilitative program, for example diversion, deferred prosecution, withheld adjudication, deferred adjudication? No. What does diversion mean? A different program to avoid jail time. 
Do you know what an alternative sentencing is? A different way to punish someone. What is withheld adjudication? Like a second chance. What is a rehabilitative program? A program to help someone to restore health. Do you understand what deferred prosecution or deferred adjudication is? Such as community service. Did you work for or associate in any way with any government in any area occupied by allied with or established with the help of the Nazi government of Germany? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including any immigration official or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces, for any reason? No. Define detain for me. Held in custody by police. What is cited? Given a ticket by police. Did you work for any German, Nazi, SS military unit, paramilitary unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, citizen unit, police unit, government agency or office, extermination camp, concentration camp, prisoner of war camp, prison, labor camp, or transit camp? No. What is the SS military unit? An organization under the Nazi government. What does extermination camp mean? A place to keep people before killing them. Please explain what concentration camp is. A place to keep prisoners of war. What does prisoner of war camp mean? A place to keep enemy soldiers. What does transit camp mean? A place to keep people temporarily. Have you ever been ordered removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in help or otherwise participate in self-defense unit? No. What is self-defense unit? A group that protects a place. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. What does it mean to be arrested? Handcuffed by the police. Do you understand what crime means? An action that breaks the law. Please define offense. A minor crime. Can you explain what commit a crime is? 
To do something that breaks the law. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in help or otherwise participate in a paramilitary unit? No. What is a paramilitary unit? Like a military group, but is not official. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. What is convicted? To be found guilty of a crime. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in help or otherwise participate in guerrilla group? No. Can you define guerrilla group? A group uses weapons to attack the government. Were you ever a worker, volunteer? Or soldier? Or did you otherwise ever serve in detention facility? No. What does detention facility mean? A place where people are forced to stay. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? No. What does charge mean? Police tell that you did something illegal. Were you ever involved in killing or trying to kill someone? No. Please explain what kill means. To cause the death of a person. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in help or otherwise participate in insurgent organization? No. Do you know what insurgent organization is? A group fights a government. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No. What does suspended sentence mean? Delaying of a sentence. Please define parole. The early release of a prisoner. What is sentence? A punishment under the law. What does probation mean? You report to an officer regularly instead of jail time. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in help or otherwise participate in militia? No. What does militia mean? An army does not work for a government. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No. What does it mean to involve? To take part in. 
What is genocide? To kill a whole race. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. What does habitual drunkard mean? Someone who drinks too much alcohol regularly. Were you ever involved in any way with torture? No. What does torture mean? To hurt someone physically. Were you ever involved in badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. What is the Constitution? It is the supreme law of the land. What does the form of government of the United States mean? Republic. What is the Constitution? It is the supreme law of the land. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Do you understand what oath of allegiance means? A promise to be loyal to the United States. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. What does bear arms mean? To own or use a gun. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I'm willing to. What does non-combatant services mean? Services that do not involve combat. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I'm willing to. What does civilian mean? A person who is not in the military. Do you know what work of national importance is? Tasks that are important to a nation. Please define civilian direction.
a direction from a person who is not in the military.